dreams for my country. But you see, I think that um, it's important also to, to understand when you can be useful and when you cannot be useful. And sometimes um, you have to just retreat. And, and I think that this is the time I'm, I'm living right now. I think um, it, it gives me time to reflect and, and to see things with another perspective. And in that sense, if one day it could be useful for my country, I would love to, to, to be helpful. But I think that there are very good people right now taking leadership and, and you know, um, and, and perhaps the best way to help them is to just be where I am, which is not being there sometimes. You live in France now? I live in Oxford. I live in England. Experiencia in the politics. Conociendo el sistema político de Colombia, ¿cree que en el futuro puede llegar una, una mujer a ocupar el cargo de una presidencia? Uh, it's not only a, a thought, but it's also a hope. But, but, uh, because I see lots of ladies here in the room, I want to say that one of the things that have struck me and that I think with, with preoccupation is the space of women in the world today today because I think that from my generation onwards we have been going backwards I mean we're not as women we are losing so much space and I want just to have this thing to compare we, we, we as in the Western countries we are very much like looking at what happens in the Arab countries with women and we feel that it's so horrible and, and they are obliged to, to work where the burqas and and it's truly f for us as women something that we should ponder because what is a burqa? A burqa is you're not a woman, you're an object. You don't you don't have face, you don't have identity. You're just a, something that is a woman. To but it's not you're not a human. You're just a, something black over there. But when you think about here in our Western country, we're doing exactly the same. I mean, I'm. I'm it, it's for me very hard and, and, and it's difficult for me to see, like for example, how, we are, how women we accept to be treated, for example, in advertising. When you see women naked advertising a alcohol, we, it's a burqa. It's the same thing. We're an object. And, and, and I think, as women, we, we have to address this, this uh, situation because we are harming the legacy for the women in the future, but we are harming men because they, we, we, are, we are not letting them have a, a soul to speak to. We are a box. We are a box. We, we are not, I mean, I think we really, really have to address those things. Elite sacrifices. ¿Cuál crees tú que es el presidente que ha estado más cerca en una solución al conflicto del país. We have had uh, people really interested in solving the problems of Colombia, uh, whether they took the right decisions or the bad decisions. Um, well, that's something that we can evaluate. But I prefer to 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 look at the future or at least at the present. And in the present we're living, uh, I think that the president that we have today in Colombia. Uh, is a guy that really wants to achieve something um, li like I I to, to leave to leave um, a print in history. Um, I I don't think that the peace in Colombia is something that belongs to someone. I think it's it it belongs to all Colombians. So uh, probably if, if, if we see the trend of things, we could say that it was important to have Uribe, to be able to have Santos, to be able to have peace. I mean, it's a process. It's, it's not like one person um, having the key for the peace. I think it's, it's gathering momentum. ¿Te recomienda a ellos como turistas viajar a Colombia? Yes with, with the, the, the correspondent uh, prudence, because it's a country like other countries in the world that have uh, problems.
problems. But it's also a country where you can, there are zones where you can go and that are beautiful. Uh, I was told here today of a lady that uh, her, her son married a Colombian girl and, uh, and she went to, to Bogota and Cartagena. Well, those are beautiful places that you can go and visit. Of course, avoid the jungle. I mean, I think that that's, you know, at least the Colombian jungle. But uh, there, are, there are places, that, and, and I think that Colombia is a, is a country worth to, to be visited, <clears throat> not only because of the beauty of the landscape and of the history, which is amazing, but especially because of the people. I mean, that's, when you travel, you, you at, sometimes, I mean, some, you forget many things, but what you don't forget is those human links you, you, you had with people, and in Colombia you will see it's, it's a country where people are open to, to, to welcome others. We adore having people coming. The doors are always open. Um, and, and I have hundreds of testimonies of people that arrive to, to Colombia and they don't find the hotel and they find the person who hosted them for two days. And Because that's how we are. I mean, we are, I, I, I think that's one of the things I love the most of Colombia, the people. Generous people. Yeah.